Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Extrodius Turbo Discovery Challenge. Before we get started, I have a late entry to introduce from Throwaway Automation. This is their wing a ding -a Melvin Lone Star Turbo Rocket. That is a crazy name, by the way. Uh, they scored a 10 in price with a price of 36500 and they scored a 9 in market with an average market score of 117.6. Their car has a 7 liter V8 with a 5 speed manual and it is front engine rear wheel drive with 300 horsepower and 392 torque. And they have currently stolen 28th place but of course we have some more testing to do today so we'll see how things end up after that. So in this test we'll be figuring out top speed and also max PSI. We are going to be going in order of cheapest to most expensive car. First up we have the Turbo Sport Monza. Alright, we're going to go with 130. I also just decided to make things a little simpler rather than going through frames in the video and trying to figure out the highest point of PSI. We're just going to go with the PSI level that it stays at during acceleration. Next up is the Classic GT. And the Classic GT gets 137. Next up, we have the Jupiter Turbo, which I am really enjoying the flames coming out of it. I was not expecting that. It's a nice 15.6 PSI though. Alright, we're going to call that 143 before the engine explodes. Next we have the S20 R200 Turbo. <laughs> That is 123. Next up is the Empire Club Sport Concept. One forty seven. Next up is the current first place winner, the Sparviero three point turbo. Alright, 139. Next we have the Comac XTR. We're gonna call that 128. Okay, maybe it's 129. Next up is the Butler and Jones Rumbler. Well, that was quite the change. Did I just shift too early? I sure did. Alright, and that's 123. Next is the Raptor GT6. One twenty nine. Next is the Altair TI five. Is that a fake exhaust tip I see? 147. Next up is the VAC bullet. That is quite the first gear. For 
Please cure all the way up to 93. That is 164. Next up is the 547SR Experiment R. Alright, that's 146. Next is the Sunshine GTI. Alright, that's 129. Next is the P103. That's a new PSI record. 21.6. Top speed of 160. Next up we have the Piranha 75TB and it has an idol that reminds me of the sound of a computer crashing. When it's not an idol though, the sound is actually pretty cool. This car doesn't sound like any of the other ones. That is 155. Next is the 595F TTS. Go with 158. Next, we have the Baronet Royale with another bit of a computer crashing idle noise. Holy cow, that's a lot of PSI. I think we're going to have to go somewhere in the middle with 29.6 for the PSI. And we got 134 for the top speed. Next we have the Betos V8. Next we have the Goudland 875. We're going to go with 163. Next up is Guffaluff with his Eagle Bandit Turbo RX. That's 160. Next, we have the Melvin Lone Star Turbo Rocket. We're going to go with 140. Next, we have the Ghost XR8 TT. Next we have the TS-180. And that is a top speed of 187. Next we have the Voltus Venom Turbo. And I'm quite a fan of how aggressive this one is. Once again, we have 187. Next, we have the International Goblin TAD. That is a top speed of 167. Next up, we have the Phenom Twin CS. That's top speed of 161. Next we have the M&J Type 4 Turbo. Oh yeah, doesn't have a clutch. <laughs> I 
That's a new PSI record. Top speed of 155. Next is the SXS Tarshish. And yeah, we're gonna go with 177. Next we have MGobble's GTO. Oh, Billy. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I think I'm going to go with 204. That was about the highest I saw it get there at the end. And lastly, we have the 944 Turbo S. <laughs> it has a bit of an overheating issue. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so I'm going to try to figure out the top speed you could have without breaking the car. So about 130 is where you could safely still drive and not overheat and destroy the engine. Now it is time for our acceleration testing. We're going to keep things pretty simple. We're just going to do 0 to 62 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. And we are going to go in order from the slowest top speed to the highest top speed. Starting off we have the Butler and Jones Rumbler. Alright, so that is 7.684 seconds. Next is the S20R200 Turbo. Alright, final score is 5.649. Next is the Raptor GT6. Best time is 8.28. Next is the Sunshine GTI. Alright, 5.799 it is. Next is the Comac XTR. best time of 8.999. Next is the 944 Turbo S. Alright, we're gonna go with 3.482. Next we have the Turbo Sport Monza. We have 6.666. Next is the Baronet Royale. And we are going to go with 5.926. Next is the Classic GT. And we're going with 5.283. Next is the Sparviero 3.0 Turbo. And 
and we've got 7.601. Next up is the Lone Star Turbo Rocket. And our best time is 7.716. Next we have the Jupiter Turbo. And we're going to go with 12.182. Next is the 547SR Experiment R. And we're going to go with 5.849. Next we have the Club Sport Concept. And our best time is 6.033. Next is the Altair TI-5. And we got 5.9. Next we have the Ghost XR8 TT. And we got 5.549. Next is the M&J Type 4 Turbo. And we've got 4.85. Next is the Piranha 75 TB. And our best time is 5.166. Next is the 595 FTTS. And our best time is 4.565. Next is the P103. And our best time is 5.616. Next is the Bandit Turbo RX. got 5.6. Next is the Phenom Twino CS. And the best time is 5.347. Next is the Betos V8. And our best time is 4.882. Next is the Gowland 875. And we've got 4.499. Next is the VAC Bullet. And our best time is 13.149. Next is the International Goblin TAD. And our best time is 4.351. Next is the SXS Tarshish. And our best time is 3.933. Next we have the Voltus Venom Turbo. And I'm betting this thing is going to wheelie. And our best time is 3.582. Next is the TS-180.
and our best time is 4.548. And lastly, we have Mgobble's GTO. And our best time is 4.183. Alright guys, that is the end of the testing for round two. As you can see, and as you might have guessed, the sports cars and the supercars have kind of taken over the competition at this point. We have the Venom Turbo in first place with 113 points, the TS-180 in second place with 110 points, and the Betos V8 with 105 points. I will probably start working on episode three either tomorrow or the day after that. I think episode 3 will just consist of the hot lap section, and I will try to figure out a good, fair map that every car could do well on. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.